Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joshua Smith and today I'm going to teach you how to do backside crooked grinds. To learn this trick well, I would recommend learning it on ledges first. The first step to learning backside crooked grinds would be foot placement. The foot placement for a backside crooked grind is similar to an ollie. I like to put my front foot right behind the front bolts and my back foot just on the tail like a regular ollie. When riding up to do a backside crooked grind, you'll want to be parallel to a ledge, set up for an ollie, pop on, and lock in. When popping into a crook, you'll want to ollie, maneuver your front foot to the nose of the board, keep your front foot on the nose of the board, and lock in on your outer wheel. Try not to lock in on your inner wheel, because if you do, the wheel could lock up, and it will cause you to stick. When locking into a backside crooked grind, doing it on a ledge, you're gonna wanna lean back a little bit and put a lot of pressure on your front foot and push it along the ledge. There's a little bit different technique for doing it on a rail. On a rail, you'll wanna be more centered and you won't have to put as much pressure because they're usually more slick than ledges. When coming to the end of a ledge or a rail, you'll wanna push your front foot as hard as you can and give your back foot a little kick to straighten your board out and you'll land on it, bolts and roll away. Keep in mind, popping out of a crooked grind may be the hardest part, but as long as you practice pushing your foot out and kicking your back foot, you should be okay. Having more speed for this trick will make the pop out a lot easier. So learning how to lock in and go fast doing this trick will make everything so much easier. I hope this trick tip helped. Go click that subscribe button, go learn crooks, and show your friends what you learned.